guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to play Get You Alone by Baekhoon. This is a new song and it's pretty fun to play. So let me show you everything. I'm gonna show you an easy version. First I'm gonna use the capo. So let's use the capo and put that on the third fret of a guitar. So we got the capo on the third fret. One, two, three. On the first dot from our guitar, actually. So we got the capo on the third fret. Now for the whole song, it's kind of same and the chords are actually beautiful. So let me show you that. And now without the capo, the chords are actually like this. Just a minute, one, two, three, four. So it kind of goes like that, but I'm gonna use a capo. So let's see how it goes. The first chord will be an A minus seven, which is mute, open second. Open first to open. Then we have this chord which gives us a different vibe. A D7 which is mute mute open second first second. Then we have a F major 7 which is one on the E which is optional for you guys. And then we have the A string muted third fret on the D second fret on the G first fret on the B high E open. And then we have a E minor 7 chord which is actually open second open open open. Just one fret one finger. Then we have a E7 which is 020100 and this dominant 7 chords are actually a lot beautiful. Alright, so the chord progression for the whole song will be a A minor, then a D minor, D7, D dominant 7, F major 7, then a E minor 7. I see a lot of guys actually saying this D. 7 chord as D minor 7 sometimes they call it a D uh, major I don't know what else they call but just completely they say the wrong name there's just small theory behind this which is super easy and get the name of the chord so we got A minor 7, D7, F major 7, E minor 7 and now the E7 is used for very least cases for the song but when you see it kind of goes a little bit different like it has a more what I say bit more complicated vibe over there you can just play the E7 like you can feel that there's something gonna be happening after that At that place you can just play the E7 chord so we won't talk about that so we're just gonna do one dance in each chord at the very beginning And one easy string pattern which I like to use for the course of the song will be a down, down, up, up, down. 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 So let's play that once on each chord. Sometimes I told you before you can use the E7 card and that was basically everything for this song. I hope you don't have any doubt. If you have, feel free to drop a comment down below guys. I'm always there to help you out. If you just found any of the song by anyone, feel free to drop a comment again. And by the way guys, please subscribe. I'm working quite hard. A subscribe would mean a lot to me. So please subscribe. I'll be super happy if you just subscribe. And I'll drop you one of these. Uh, you're gonna promote my video if only you like this. So make sure you like that. I'll see you guys back in the next video. Till then, bye.